Okay, K1 GMM here with a comparison of the Delta Loop over the Cobra Senior. I'm running a 40 meter D uh, Delta Loop parasitic array firing southwest right now and trying to pull my friend Brian KC2MK out of, out of Medina, New York out of the noise here. And I'm going to show you the difference between these two antennas. It is a scary, remarkable difference. And now the preamp is on. I have uh, preamp 2 engaged on the 7300. So I'm going to turn up the radio. I'm going to wait for Brian to come back in. And then I'll switch to the Cobra. Uh, you won't believe it. This is the Delta Loop Array currently. But I think he knew what he was really doing, you know. I'm going to get it to a real guy. But there's nobody around here that really wants to work on anything, you know. What are you going to do? Okay, here comes Brian. All right, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go to the Cobra. There's the Cobra. He completely disappears. Back to the array. Cobra. He's gone. Parasitic array. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, so that was the difference between the 40 meter parasitic array, Delta Loop parasitic array and the Cobra Senior. Cobra Senior is a great antenna. At this point, the only thing I use it for is uh, 75 meters and 160. It loads up beautiful with power on 160 uh, and 75. Uh, great antenna for that. Uh, for a 140 foot long antenna, it's dynamite. But as you could tell, uh, no contest between the Delta Loops and the Cobra Senior. Uh, so if you have people ever tell you that uh, the Delta, do Delta Loops aren't a significant improvement. They have no idea what they're talking about. Also, I have two to four S units of less noise on the Delta Loops as well. Uh, very, very quiet system. Anyways, 7-3, hope to hear you on the bands somewhere, someplace, sometime. Have a great day, 7-3, K1 GMM.